object detection and classification using YOLOV3. Abstract autonomous driving will increasingly require more and more dependable network-based mechanisms, requiring redundant, real-time implementations. Object detection is a growing field of research in the field of computer vision. The ability to identify and classify objects, either in a single scene or in more than one frame, has gained huge importance in a variety of ways, as while operating a vehicle, the operator could even lack attention that could lead to disastrous collisions. In attempt to improve these perceivable problems, the Autonomous Vehicles and ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance System, have considered to handle the task of identifying and classifying objects, which in turn use deep learning techniques such as the Faster Regional Convoluted Neural Network, FRCNN, the You Only Look Once model, YOLO, the Single Shot Detector, SSD, etc. to improve the precision of object detection. YOLO is a powerful technique as it achieves high precision whilst being able to manage in real time. This paper explains the architecture and working of YOLO algorithm for the purpose of detecting and classifying objects, trained on the classes from Coco Data Set. Keywords YOLO, Convolutional Neural Network, Bounding Box, Anchor Box, Fast Region Based Convolutional Neural Network, Intersection Over Union, Non Max Suppression, Coco Data Set. Introduction Quick Exact calculations for object detection would permit computer to drive vehicles without particular sensors, empower assistive gadgets to pass on constant scene data to human clients, and open the potential for universally useful, responsive automated frameworks. 1. Object discovery includes identifying locale of interest of object from given class of picture. 2. There are basically two algorithms for object discovery and they can be arranged into two kinds. Classification dependent algorithms are performed in two steps. First, they define and select areas of significance for an image. Second, these regions are organized into convolutional neural networks. The above mentioned arrangement is mild, since it is required to make estimates for all chosen regions. A commonly recognized case of this type of algorithm is the Regional Convolutional Neural Network, RCNN and medium RCNN, faster RCNN, and the most recent, mask RCNN2. Algorithms based on regression rather than selecting a field of interest for an image, they estimate groups and bounding boxes for the whole picture in one run of the algorithm. The two most common models in this set are the YOLO family algorithms which provides maximum speed and precision for multiple object detection in a single frame 3 and the SSD this algorithms that are typically used to track objects in real time. To understand the YOLO algorithm, it is important to determine what is currently expected. It varies from the majority of the neural network models because it uses a single convolutional network that predicts bounding boxes and the resulting probabilities. The bounding boxes are weighted by the probabilities and the model makes their detection dependent on the final weights. Thus, end-to-end -end output of the model can be directly maximized and, as a result, images can be produced and processed at a rapid pace for. Every bounding box can be represented using four descriptors. Methodology YOLO takes an input image first and this input image is then divided into grids, say 3x3 grid, as shown in. On every grid, image classification and localization are applied. The bounding boxes and their equivalent class probabilities for objects are then predicted by YOLO. In order to train it, the labeled data needs to be transferred to the model. Suppose the image is divided into a 3x3 grid and there is an aggregate of three classes in which the objects need to be categorized. Suppose that the classes are people, cars, and trucks, the Y label is an eight-dimensional vector for each grid cell. Since in this grid there is an entity, PC will be to 1 and BX, by, BH, BW will be determined according to the same grid cell with which we are dealing. Therefore, since the car is the second class, C2 equals 1 and C1 and C3 equals 0. An 8-dimensional output vector for each of the 9 grids is outputted. This performance will have a dimension to the 3x3x8. The object could be assigned to a solitary grid where its midpoint is found, 
regardless of whether an entity spreads to more than one grid. By increasing the number of grids, we can reduce the odds of different objects occurring in a similar grid cell. Specifications and system architecture YOLO, in a single glance, takes the entire image and predicts for these boxes the bounding box coordinates and class probabilities. YOLO's greatest advantage is its outstanding pace, it's extremely fast, and it can handle 45 frames per second one. Amongst the three versions of YOLO, version 3 is fastest and more accurate in terms of detecting small objects. The proposed algorithm, YOLO version 3 consists of total 106 layers 10. The architecture is made up of three distinct layer forms. Firstly, the residual layer which is formed when activation is easily forwarded to a deeper layer in the neural network. In a residual setup, outputs of layer 1 are added to the outputs of layer 2. Second is the detection layer which performs detection at three different scales or stages. Size of the grids is increased for detection. Third is the upsampling layer which increases the spatial resolution of an image. Here image is upsampled before it is scaled. Also, concatenation operation is used, to concatenate the outputs of previous layer to the present layer. Addition operation is used to add previous layers. In the Fig 3, the pink colored blocks are the residual layers, orange ones are the detection layers and the green are the upsampling layers. Detection at three different scales is as shown Fig 3. BX and BI will continuously lie in the 0 and 1 range while the midpoint in the grid will continually remain in the grid. BH and BW may be greater than 1 in the event that the dimensions of the bounding box are greater than the grid dimension. Intersection over union and non-max suppression. It measures the intersection of the ground truth bounding box and the expected bonding box over the union. Consider the ground truth and the bounding boxes expected for a vehicle, shown in figure 6. The red box in fig 6 is the bounding box for ground truth and the purple box is the anticipated one. The intersection area over the union of these two boxes is determined by IOU, i.e., the shaded yellow region as shown in fig 6. In general, IOU equals area of the intersection slash area of the union i.e. IOU equals area of yellow box slash area of green box. If the IOU is greater than 0.5, then the estimate is reasonable. Is an arbitrary limit, can be changed as explicit problem suggests. Instinctively, the higher the limit is raised, the better the predictions become. There is one more strategy that can radically boost YOLO's yield a non-max suppression. One of the most well-known problems with algorithms for object detection is that they can recognize it on multiple occasions instead of detecting an object only a single time. Cars are recognized more than once, as seen in Fig 7. To get a lone detection of any object, the non-max suppression is employed. It looks at the probability of each detection first and selects the highest. In Fig 7, 0.9 is the greatest likelihood, so the 0.9 probability box is selected first. The method then glances at the other boxes in the frame. Boxes that have a high IOU with the currently chosen box will be removed. The boxes with 0.6 and probabilities are suppressed. After the boxes have been removed, the next box is chosen from all of the most possible boxes, which in this situation is 0.8. Once again, it looks at the IOU of the box and compresses boxes with a high IOU. The algorithm repeats steps from 1 to 4, until the final bounding boxes are selected or compressed non-max suppression is a way to take the boxes and suppress the close-by boxes of non-max possibilities with the max likelihood, as shown in figure 8 single detection of objects is obtained after applying the above-mentioned steps. Anchor boxes. When multiple objects are in a single grid, it leads to the concept of the anchor boxes. Consider Fig 9, split into the grid of 3x3, an object is allocated to a grid by taking its midpoint and it is allocated to the corresponding grid according to its position. The midpoint of both objects is in the same grid in Fig 9. The first eight rows of the Y label represent the anchor box 1 and the next eight represent the second anchor box. 
the objects are allocated to the boxes on the basis of the similarities between the bounding box and the shape of the box. Since the shape of anchor box 1 is identical to the person's bounding box, the person is allocated to the box 1 and the car to box 2. Instead of 3x3x8, using 3x3 grid and 3 classes, the output for this flowchart flowchart of that steps that the YOLO algorithm follows. Testing The new picture will be split into the same number of grids that is selected during the training. The model predicts a 3x3x16 output for each grid. The 16 values in this prediction are in the same format as the training label. Training The input for training the model will be images and their respective Y labels. Fig 1 is divided into 3x3 grid with 2 grid anchors, with 3 separate classes of objects. The corresponding Y labels has the shape of 3x3x16. Training takes the form of an image and maps it into a target 3x3x16. Implementation of YOLO Darnet, this algorithm is implemented using an pen source neural network framework i.e., Darnet which was developed in C language and CUDA technology to render speedy calculations on a GPU necessary for real-time predictions. DNModel.py, Darnet model file is a computer vision code used for building the model using the configuration file and it appends each layer. UTIL.py, contains all the formulas used. ImagePyrosis.py, required to perform the image processing task. It takes all the input images to resize them and perform upsampling, also performs transpose function. Detect.py, the main code which is run to perform object detection. This code uses all the above mentioned files to perform object detection. Performs all the functions according to the YOLO concept. Conclusion YOLO is one of the best known, most powerful object detection models, dubbed you only look once. YOLO is the first option for every real-time identification of objects. Both input images are divided into the SXS grid structure by YOLO algorithms. For object detection, any grid is responsible. Now these grid cells forecast the observed object. Boundary Boxes We have five principal attributes for each box, including X and Y for coordinates, W and H for object width and height and an insight into the possibility that the box holds the object. In recent years deep learning based object identification has become a hotspot for analysis due to its powerful study skills and scale transition. This paper suggests a series of YOLO rules to classify objects using a single neural network for the purpose of detection. The rules are easy to create and can be instantly comprehensively photographed. Limit the classifier to a particular area through position concept techniques. In the prediction of limits, YOLO accesses the whole photograph. Moreover, in history regions it expects fewer false positives. This algorithm only looks once as in it requires only one forward propagation to cross through the network to make estimations.